Hey everybody, welcome. So here we are with yet another Timu haul. Um, I wanted to start off, I have two things that I needed to show you. Uh, one is a jumpsuit or tracksuit they call it. This was supposed to be in my Amazon haul, but this was sent late. You know how Amazon is typically, like I have Prime, so typically they will send it to you within two days. But sometimes the sellers will take a little bit longer. So this one took a little bit longer. That was supposed to be in that haul. So I'm gonna try on this vacuum sealed track suit. And then I also have this blanket, this Christmas blanket that was sent to me uh, from a seller on Amazon. So I'm gonna try this out, which is cool because I'm cold. Imagine that. I have this Timu shirt on. It's this eyelet Timu shirt. And it's super comfy, but it's so holy that I'm cold. And it has this really cute neck. And it's actually a bodysuit. This is silly. Okay, so it's actually a bodysuit, but I didn't uh, I didn't snap it down there because I just didn't feel like it. It's just been that kind of day. Um, for example, I went to give the dogs water and I took a cup out of the dishwasher, which is clean, and I filled it up and I filled their bowls and then I put the cup back into the dishwasher. And then I thought about it after I did it and I was like, oh well. So that's the kind of day it's been. Uh, the animals are all crazy, so hopefully they don't cause too much of a ruckus. But uh, I have Romeo and Bella here playing. What else? Oh, I don't have earrings in because I think this, well, actually I know because I priced it that this haul does have some Christmas earrings. I made sure I stocked up on Christmas earrings because I don't have enough, I feel. Uh, I did do my hair. So these are, these are tape-ins. So I did this yesterday. I'll post a video, I don't know, probably sometime this weekend. But uh, she sent me like these little, well, she sent me two packs. One was uh, a black pair, like not pair, a black set of tape-ins, and then the other one was a pop of color, which I chose pink. I kind of wish I would have chose purple, but I don't know. It kind of was giving me Barbie feels after I put it in, and not that I'm I'm not a fan of Barbie. It's you know, but that's kind of what I was thinking, like what I, where I was thinking it was going, and I wasn't trying to go down that route. But whatever, they're in, they're taped in. I, I'll have to deal with it for two months. Um, taking them out was okay but you know it wasn't like the most fun thing I've ever done uh, we do have a giveaway winner another giveaway winner the first winner unfortunately did not contact me so I chose another one so I will announce that towards the end of the video and I will also uh, put a little screenshot of the winner up top so it is Thursday happy Thursday everybody hope everybody's doing good I will be off to work here in a couple hours for my four day weekend. And that's that, yeah. I think that's all that I had to say. So let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna open up this blanket. Now I will, I I will be putting on the screen a few pictures of the blanket displayed around wherever. I don't even know, I'm on me, on the couch, on a stool, I have no idea. They wanted five to six pictures, which is fine. Simple enough. So this was also vacuum sealed. And this came really fast. I feel like this came in two days. I'm gonna throw it in this garbage right here. Okay. So they had different ones to choose from. So they had a, a red one, a green one, a gray one, and I think a, a light blue one. So it is that soft material on the front and then the Sherpa, which I absolutely love in the back. And it does have a seam around it, which is nice. And let me show you what it will look like. Full length. Now hopefully you'll be able to see how big this is. I believe it's 50 by 60. Keeps going, keeps going, okay. 
cats playing in the box. We have Santa. We have Christmas trees. What is this? A bow. A snowman. Some little berries. I don't know what kind of berries these are. Holly berries are red. I don't know what they are. But it's big. It's really big. Let me see. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's really nice. I like that. Super soft. I love this Sherpa. Let me see if there's a tag. Really don't want to take it off. Um, do not bleach, obviously. Tumble dry, no ironing, thank goodness. Conventional dry cleaning. Okay, so it's made out of 100% polyester fiber. Size, 127 times 152 centimeters. Okay, don't have any idea in centimeters. We use inches here. But if you use centimeters, then you will know but this is really nice, super soft. Sorry, sorry about that. Telemarketers, super soft. Let's see how many times I can say that in one video. But truly, I love soft things. When my daughter was little, uh, and we still talk about it now, but when she was little, she had an obsession with fuzz so anytime like she would have a, and she was, she was a thumb sucker, but anytime she would have a blanket or teddy bear, she would pick the fuzz and then she would suck her thumb and roll the fuzz on her top lip. And it was so funny because all the time she would have fuzz all like lined up along her bed. It was all in the car, around her car seat. There was fuzz everywhere. And every time we would go to a store, and say, you know, where's Jade? There she is, you know, and she'd be over there picking fuzz off a sweater so that she can roll it. It was the cutest thing. She had this one stuffed animal and I don't have it anymore. I wish I did, but it was completely bald, completely. So there's that cute, fun story. Okay, so I'm gonna have to display this in five to six places. So you can see what it looks like, maybe laying on your couch or whatever. Uh, where am I gonna put it? Over here. Got my Coca-Cola Classic. Do you remember when it was Coca-Cola Classic, I think? Or maybe they still have it, I don't know. But my mom used to always say, I need a Coca-Cola Classic. Just a random thought that came into my head. Okay, so we're gonna open up this vacuum sealed tracksuit. Oh, cool. I didn't even have to cut it. Hi, Belle. Now, I put this shirt on because I think there's a couple of things that I need to try on. So I figured it more of a form fitting shirt. Oh, and it has this cute little ruffled shoulder thing. Makes my shoulders look wider. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, this is soft. Oh my goodness. This feels like that teal sweatshirt I wore the other day. Wow. I got it in a small. So here are the pants. It is so soft. Here is the bottoms. I wouldn't say they're flared, but they are a wider bottom. That's cute. And then the jacket. And to be quite honest with you, I don't, I don't remember ordering this. I don't. But when he emailed me, he said, oh, I'm sorry, your tracksuit is running late. And I said, okay, cool. This is the company. Don't mind my nails. My hands are so dry, I can't. It's like, they're fuzzy. They're so dry, they're fuzzy. And that, that's horrible. I'm not trying to be gross, but I need lotion. I just put lotion on a little bit ago, but it's not working. Okay, here is the, the top. And it has this hood that folds down. 
Okay, so it's like a, not, any, not even a hood. Okay, I lied. It's a very big collar that folds down. That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. And it's a half zip. Okay, I'm not a fan of half zips. I like full zip. I don't like having to put it up over my head. It's so soft though. Wish I could find a material tag, but I don't see one anywhere. Unless it's in the pants, but that wouldn't make much sense, right? Okay. Okay. So if it's good, get my chair out of the way. Okay, the pants, I mean, I'm not gonna try those on because those are pretty self-explanatory, but see, I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this collar. I don't really prefer collars like this, to be honest. I wouldn't even know how to, how to put it. Like that, maybe. Up, up high looks weird. Okay, maybe like that. Okay, so there's that. Get it up over my head again. So that was from Amazon. If I find a link, I will definitely put it down below in the description box. I'm sure I have one somewhere. I just have to go through my emails. What's everybody doing this weekend? Did you already get your tree? I didn't get my tree yet and I'm starting to get a little bit. I should have worn my shirt, like my procrastinator shirt. I'm starting to get a little bit anxious about it, but I do leave it up at least till January 7th for Serbian Christmas. So, I mean, I'm still a little ahead of the game, I guess. And it typically stays up halfway through January, so I'm good, but I kind of just wanted to get it. But on my days off, it was like bitter, bitter cold. So I wasn't able to, well, I, I mean, I was able to, but I wasn't feeling like getting 15 layers of clothing on to go cut down a Christmas tree. Anyway, there's that story. I feel like I have fuzz stuck all over my pants. I, did, I definitely do. Okay, so let's get into the Timu, the exciting part. We get this little bag. All right, first we have, I love to get these little things and they're so cheap. $1.48 for this little koala bracelet. I love koala bears. Just for you. This little koala is just for you to bring you happiness the whole day through. Remember to make a wish as you tie this bracelet on your wrist. And then I believe whenever it falls off, typically these are meant to be for when they fall off, um, your wish will come true. But it's a little blue koala bear. Well, silver koala bear with a blue string. Then it's adjustable. So I got that one, and then I got a red one. I don't know what happened to the red one. It's here, but it's back here. It's cute. Very cute. And these I got for a friend. They were $2.69. A good friend of mine at work. She, um, well, I won't get too much into the story, but she will appreciate these in a humorous way. They're air fresheners. And there's Jesus. I saw that. So he's kind of like peeking, peeking around something. I, I can't even imagine what they smell like. Probably frankincense and myrrh, who knows. <laughs> I don't know. Or if they even smell, I don't even know if they have a smell. Maybe they're just decoration. But you get four pieces. I'm gonna leave these out in case she's working tonight, I'm not sure. I have my camera set up on the box of my foot massager. So it's kind of taking up my entire table. So I don't have a whole lot of room. All right, next we have this fancy scarf that was $4.99. Sorry, it's really crinkly. 
Um, okay, Ash, let's try to just crinkle it even more. Okay, we're just gonna cut it. Okay, done. Ooh, look at that. And if you know what that print's from, then you know. If you know, you know. Now, I've never worn a scarf like this before, to be honest with you. But I thought it looked fancy, and I wanted to give it a try. Um, it's very long. It reminds me of those um, really cool antique uh, like travel, what do they call them? Like travel cargo boxes that people used to use on ships and, okay, so. I don't know how to put these on. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look. So you can do it like that, I guess. It's very long, so you can probably do it like this. I'm getting my hair all caught up in it, my ring stuck. You can do it like this, like that. And then I guess you could put it like this, although I would never. Like that. <laughs> although it's kind of nice. I mean, it keeps my head warm even though it's very thin. Yeah, so there's that. That's pretty, I love the colors. I thought it would match a black purse, a brown purse, a cream purse. I mean, you can't really go wrong, even a yellow purse with the yellow accents. That's cool. Got that pretty scarf. I'm gonna be decked out for winter. I'm gonna be all bungled up. My daughter used to say that whenever we would go sled riding. She'd say, I need to get bungled up. Such cute things they say. Okay. Next we have in this bag, I believe this is a portable foot bath. $4.98. So if you want to just sit on your couch, soak your feet, Fill this up with water. I got the cat one. I almost got like the uh, alpaca, I think it was called. But I got this one instead. And it's not very deep, which is cool. Otherwise you'll be taking five hours to fill it. And it's just this waterproof water bag. <laughs> I don't know how. Ugh. Mmm. Doesn't smell good. It has cats on it. I keep smelling it. Did you? <laughs> it's like, oh, it doesn't smell good. Let me keep smelling it. That's cool though. Very neat. And it comes in this little pouch. So you can take it, you can travel with it. That's cute. They had a bunch of them. They had like a pink one, a purple one. Typically, I go either um, by color or design. I like the color of this one. I like the, the design of the alpaca one, but I didn't like the color of it. So, picky me. No, I'm not really that picky. I'm just indecisive. That's what it is. I'm indecisive. Okay. Next, we have a hat, hot mess, just doing my best. Okay, I thought the letters were a little bit funky. The E looks like an eight. You see that? Let me open it and I'll show you. It's not a distressed hat. Okay, it has a stick stuck to it. It's not a distressed hat, but I still like it. Do you see the E? Yeah, whatever. 
I always, I always bend the brim a little bit. I don't like when the brim is flat. I want it to kind of shape, shape my head. It's cute. I like it. I need to shape it a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And it came with this holder that probably did nothing for the hat. Um, let's give me some earrings. I want to get some earrings because I want to get earrings in. <gasps> okay, here they are. I'm sure you probably have seen these. I've seen these on numerous hauls. $149. Bella's trying to lay in Romeo's banana bed, which Romeo doesn't even like because he's too big for it. So I don't know how Bella's going to fit in it. But they're Christmas trees. How cute. Silver, like a pearly pink, and then a glittery pink. Jeez, I have to do my nails. They look horrible. And they give you this gold back and then a silicone back. So, I think I might use a silicone back because I feel like it'll hold it better. Pink earrings to go with my pink Barbie hair. Yeah, I like this. I like the silicone backs better. Okay. Give me a moment. This one I always have trouble with, and I don't know why. Probably because this hole is so huge, I guess, from getting snagged over so many years. But this one I can never find. Huh. As I make my ear all red. Okay, did I tell you the price of those? I don't remember. $149, I think I did. They're cute though. Oh, there. And they're really light. Even though they're three tiered, they're really light. I don't even feel them. Isabel. Okay, she's chewing on the banana bed now. What was in here? Oh, my hat. This, I honestly, I don't know why I got this. I really have no idea. It kind of brings back like third grade vibes. But I feel like I hear like a banging. Okay, so it's a Christmas tree and it has all these different color pens that you can click down. And to be honest, I don't remember how to use it. Like I'm clicking it down, but they're not staying down. Okay, the blue does. Let's try, okay. Red, you kind of have to push it down and then push it in. Orange purple and it says Merry Christmas on the bottom 79 cents and then this one well you can clip it on something this one retracts them all okay so I don't remember getting that but it's cute I'll use it for work definitely those other pens that I got for work are good but every once in a while they um will start to act funky on me and just stop working. The next thing I got was this pretty bracelet. It's black for 97 cents. I might put this in my daughter's stocking. And it has that, the eye, diamond eye little pendant, black beads and gold beads. That's pretty though. I like it. And it, I think it has meaning. Let me read it to you. Evil eye, guard and luck. The evil, the, wait, no, back up. The eye of the devil is also called the eye of T-U-R-K-I-Y-E. Okay, I don't know. It is used to ward off evil spirits, so it has the meaning of guarding. It can not only protect the health of friends, lovers, and family members, 
and bring them luck. Okay, do you see what I mean by, by that there? Oh my gosh, my nails. I can't even hardly stand to look at them. I'm trying to give them a little bit of a break, but I think they've, they've breaked enough. The break is over. Okay, this made me giggle when I was pricing it. Okay, this is like a little um, pocket hug from me to you. So these are cute um, just to give as little uh, gifts for people. Sometimes I'll put them in my purse and if somebody's having a bad day, then I'll just pull this out. Uh, there was this one lady at work that lost her um, Sphinx cat, which I thought was so cool. I've always wanted one, but she lost her Sphinx cat, but it was, it was like a Siamese Sphinx cat and she was crying and, and, you know, we were hugging and I knew I would see her in a week or so. So I, I brought in my little Siamese yarn cat, uh, and I put his little name on it. I put Ozzy on it and it was just one of those ones like, you know, if you need a hug or if you need whatever it said, it was cute. Um, but she cried and then I felt bad and I was like, I'm going to give this to you, but please don't cry. And she still cried. And then I started to tear up and, but she, she appreciated it so much. I'm not going to open this, but it says a little hug just for you. And I want you to read the just part. See? Juice to say. Little hug, juice to say. I don't even know how you would say that. Uh, here's a little pocket hug. Show that I care. A little hug to take with you so you know I'm there. And that's with the little, little heart hug. Pocket hug. Little wooden thing looks like. That was cute, 98 cents. What else do we have? We have a sweater that I've apparently bought twice because I loved it so much. No, I'm just kidding. I, I didn't realize that I ordered it and I actually returned one of them. So I'm gonna take this hat off, I think. Maybe not, it's keeping my head warm. Okay, so this is the sweater. This looks like it's gonna be super warm. And I got it in brown. Cute. Oh, and the sleeves are long. Look how long. They almost cover my fingertips. Oh, my slipper's falling off. Okay. How cute. And it's really soft. I'm trying to show you up close the material. Because you know you see them on Timo and you're like, oh, that looks really good. And then you get it and it's shiny and spongy. So the close-ups on Timu don't work out well for me, but that's why I figure I'll show you up close here what it looks like. It's really pretty. And they showed her wearing this, um, like the, no, my hair is so staticky. The V in the front was, was, looked like it was open pretty far and she had this cream shirt under it. It looked really cute. There's that. Okay, we're fighting over something. Who knows what? Tyson. I think they're fighting over the cat. Tyson literally thinks everything is his, so uh, if we bring a bag or a box or anything into the house, he thinks that it's his. So then they have like this standoff where they kind of just both stand there at the item and growl and snarl at each other which is no fun. It freaks out my daughter. All right, next. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you these guys, but I'll kind of try to um, like bleep the bad word out. These were $3.49 and they're oven mitts. Okay, I might take this hat off because it's kind of giving me a little bit of a headache. Not gonna lie. Now my hair is going to be all messy. I don't care. I thought this was a little bit crooked. It is a little bit crooked, I think. 
That's all right, I'll still wear it. I wish you could see Isabella right now. Try to get into this spinning of the bed. Isabella. She tries to get in it and then I think she gets mad and then she starts chewing on it. Okay. So, this is effing delicious. Look how cute. They look like little Campbell soup people and dogs. And the back is like that um, shiny, not like metal material, but I don't know what kind of material that is. And then, oops, did I show you? I mean, you get it. This is effing delicious. Mmm, that's cute. I don't know what they're eating. Looks like red eggs or maybe meatballs and spaghetti with milk. It looks delicious, whatever they're eating. Just kidding. Who knows what they're eating? I know I gotta eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I'm thirsty, apparently. Apparently, I don't know if you guys ever saw that video, that little boy, it's so cute. But every time I, I say apparently, I think of that little boy. This is another rice bowl. It's very loud, I'm not gonna open it. You've probably seen them before. But it's like a rice strainer. I had a pink one, and somehow the whole bottom cracked. So we epoxied it, um, and it's, it's good now, but I just wanted a new one because it's broken and I know that it's broken, but this was 58 cents. So I just got a new one or you can maybe wear it as like a construction hat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that reminded me a lot. Okay. Next we have, I thought this was super adorable. Well on her, we'll see. 16, 17. Their prices are so strange. Oh, it's so cute. I don't remember what it is exactly. A jacket, a shawl. Um, okay. Is this an armhole? Okay. So yeah, that's an armhole. How funny. So this is an armhole. The bottom looks like this. I'm gonna try it on. Bella, go. She just burped really loud. I'm sorry if you heard that. Okay, this is strange. Like, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. It's a little tight. I'm gonna be honest. My arms aren't that big. It's a little tight. Oh, there goes my slipper. Okay. This is, this is odd. What in the world? All right, this, this I'm gonna have to figure out because, okay, so I don't know what's happening. Does this make sense to you? Like you just wrap it around? I mean, then what do you, how do you hold it on? I feel like I have a little like a tutu on. I'm not understanding. And you, okay. Do you guys get it? Why are their clothes sometimes so confusing? Go, Belle. Sorry, she stepped on Romeo. What? It's cute. Sorry, I'm trying to get a thumbnail. YouTube gives me the most horrible thumbnails where like my eyes are weird or whatever. Or I'm, my eyes are closed. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna post a picture of this in the description or not in the description, on the screen for you because just like that robe, I feel like this is that robe all over again. And I have PTSD from that robe, that bathrobe. I haven't worn it yet. 
because I know that I'll just screw it up. So yeah, there's that. It's I love the pattern. I mean, it's really cute. I didn't tell you what it was made of. Um, let's all take a guess. Let's take a guess what it's made out of. Hmm? Polyester, maybe? Maybe? Oh, look, it has a hook. Well, good thing I opened it. Well, okay. So you hook it there, and then has another hook here. Okay, so you just hook it shut. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, I was doing this totally wrong. This is definitely is like the bathrobe all over again. Okay, so here is, okay. This is actually, oh my gosh. See, I told you I'm having that kind of day. Okay, so this is actually the collar and the front is the fur. Your arms go in the armhole. You clasp it in the front, blah, blah, blah. The back is slightly shorter. See how the back is shorter than the front. And then the front bottom has tassels. So there we go. We got it. Okay. So that makes it even cuter. Oh, the material. Okay, so I was slightly wrong. So it is 68%, I have that fake fur on my lip. 68% acrylic, 32% polyester. And I got it in a medium, because I don't want it to be like super tight. That's cute. Okay. I got a little discouraged there for a second. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a little discouraged because I didn't know what it was. Now all of my items, oh, I really have fuzz everywhere, are just strewn all over the floor now. This is, this is vacuum sealed. Like, you wouldn't believe. Okay, I'll save that. Let me get out a couple of these little things. This is a bag. I don't know why I bought it. Maybe just to put like cute jewelry or something in as a gift. It looks bigger on the website. It was 38 cents. But it's just this little boho bag with drawstrings. It's cute. Oh, $1.98. Okay, we got these little koala earrings. Oh, they're so cute, but they're so big. Look. They're so cute. Oh. With my arm like weird like that. Hey, for a thumbnail. That's cute. Oh, I like these. And they give you the two backs, which is nice. The back is black. I wish it was like a silvery glitter, but it's just black. I mean, I guess it's better than white. It would blend in with my hair a little better. Always, always look for the brighter side, right? Okay, travel turtle. Whenever you, wherever you may wander, wherever you may roam, tiny turtle will journey with you and safely bring you home. Tiny turtle, 78 cents. I thought that was cute. Just another little gift idea. <laughs> oh, okay, Romeo. It's like, okay, she's filming, but let's go to the bathroom. So these I thought were hilarious. Let me get a drink because, because I'm thirsty and this is gonna crack me up. Not that it has anything to do with the drink, but I wanted bangs. I wanted to see what I would look like with bangs. So here are the bangs. They're clipping bangs. I have no clue how you would do this, guys. We're gonna try it out here. Oh, Lord. Okay, see you. Okay. Push it back, get out, Belle. Push it back. Like, but the problem is, like, I feel, like, how would people not see that? 
unless I wore my hat over top of it. This, this, I don't know what this is doing. That's, that's giving me like a 80s vibes, like, like the little feathered, feathered hair. It's cute. I, I mean, it's much better than I actually thought it would be. I don't know. Do you guys like me with bangs? They're very soft. Wow. I'm sure they're plastic, but they're soft. Okay. I don't, I don't, these look, these remind me of like horns. Or like, um, yeah, they remind me of like the feathered hair, like Jane Fonda. Ooh. They're soft though. Yeah, but I don't know how you would cover that. Do you see that? I mean, and, and all you do is you just, you just kind of slide it into your hair and then clip it down and then it stays. And it did stay pretty good. You could trim the sides. So, I mean, that, that's cool. I thought it would be a little bit more strange than it is. It's cool with a hat. If you wanted to wear a hat and still look like you had bangs underneath, you could do that. But I, I just, I keep thinking that I, I want bangs, but I don't know if I want bangs. I'm afraid to get bangs because then if I don't like them, there's nothing that I can do, you know? I like other people with bangs. I like bangs on other people. I don't think I've had bangs probably since I was in the fourth grade. My mother was a hairdresser and I was her guinea pig. So I had every hairstyle imaginable, including a boy cut. That was a lot of fun in the fourth grade. Okay, Romeo's gonna climb up on the box now. Okay, so we have the bangs. Moving right along. We have a ring, it's probably not my size. Size seven, very pretty blue ring. How many minutes are we on? 42. Oh. oh, I have to announce the winner. Sally Murphy. Sally Murphy, congratulations, Sally Murphy. And there are a few numbers behind it. I apologize, I forget now. I looked right before this video and I forget, but it is Sally Murphy. Um, for something, something, something. But congratulations, you won the green purse. Please email me. The, the email is in the description box below. Please email me within two days um, of the posting of this video and so that I can, you know, get your information and send you out the purse. But congratulations. Yay. I hope you get back to me because I really want to send this purse out to somebody before Christmas. So here is the very beautiful blue and silver ring. There's so much fuzz stuck to my other rings. Can you see that? And it has diamonds all around it or maybe not. They just use that like, what do they call that? Like filigree to make it look like diamonds. It's pretty though. For 58 cents, I mean, you honestly can't beat that. And truthfully, half of this jewelry, nobody would even know that it's not real. Like nobody would know. Nobody would have a clue if you're walking around with a, I'm sorry, if you have, you know, a really expensive ring that, you know, that's awesome. Nothing against that, but you would never be able to tell if you're walking around with a, you know, three, $3.58 ring or a $3,000 ring. Because to be honest, unless you get it checked, there's, you can't tell. Like I'm wearing this, my moist night. It was about 150, I think, but I mean, it looks really expensive and it definitely needs clean now that I'm looking at it on, on camera. Uh, okay. I go off on so many tangents, but it's okay. Cause I like to talk and I like to talk to you guys. I hope you don't mind. This is so cute. I feel like I have to burp cause I drank too much carbonation now. 89 cents. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? I'm going to show it to you on this hand. That's not nasty but this is like i don't know what this is hi romeo come on 
it's really pretty. It's made out of like a rope. And then, sorry, he's moving the camera a little bit. It has this resin or plastic with beads. These really pretty green colored beads. That's pretty. It has this little leaf that hangs down. 89 cents. That's nice. I like it. Okay. Next up, we have a bracelet. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so it's this white bracelet, white beaded bracelet, and it has a charm that hangs down, like a little bead that hangs down, and then this butterfly diamondy charm. And then it has these two clear ones on the sides. There's that, that was 58 cents. I might have been on the 58 cent kick on Timu. Everything seems like it's 58 cents. This was 78 cents, ooh. This is a little pricey. But there's my little alpacas. I think you call them alpacas, llamas. How cute are they though? And they're glittery. They're cute. They're so cute. And the, okay. So the one is bent. Can you see that back here? That one is bent. That's okay. I can just bend it back. And then if it breaks off, I'll just return it. Um, a funny story. So my daughter was little. <laughs> yeah, another story. When my daughter was little, we went to a place called, had to get in the bag, a place called Living Treasures. And it's kind of like a little mini zoo. And I thought the llamas were so cool. So I stood there while, you know, Jade and Matt were off doing something else. I stood there and I'm just feeding them and I'm like having the, the you know, my, living my best life, feeding the llamas and laughing. And I guess the one llama got a little bit like pissed off that I was feeding the one llama at the time. So the other llama that was mad, um, as I was, you know, giggling ha, and laughing, the other llama uh, threw up in my mouth. And it was the most horrible thing ever. The woman that works there felt so bad. She like ran over from the, the horse part of it and took me back and hosed me down, hosed out my mouth. <laughs> But I had to drive home like 45 minutes with this horrible smelling llama vomit on me. Uh, and, I mean, I laugh now, but, and I probably was laughing then because that's just how I am. But um, I, yeah, I almost, I almost threw up. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my slipper. I'm just going to take it off. Oh my goodness. I just can't, I just can't with that one slipper. So yeah, there's my llama story. <clears throat> but I still think they're adorable and they have little um, like Christmas lights on them. They're cute. I do like these though. I think I like, I don't know. I like my koalas too. That's hard to say. I like them all. I like them all. Okay, I have one more thing. And I wasn't gonna open this because this is a gift, but I'm not, I decided after the fact that I'm not gonna give it like this because, you know, that's, strange so I'm just gonna maybe um, put in a gift box with tissue paper I thought that would be a better idea than just to wrap up this vacuum sealed package watch out back okay so this is for my daughter this is one size fits all she has one of these but it's not long and a lot of times she'll wear it to take the dogs out or whatnot and I'm gonna have a fun time folding this back up. Okay, wow. This is heavy. Okay, so this is one of those pullovers that have sleeves with cuffs at the end, which is cool. A lot of times she'll wear these like to go to her boyfriend's um, baseball game, hockey game. So she'll, she'll wear these for that if it's cold out. 
but this is nice. Let me move this chair. I'm excited. This I think was 24 something. I threw away the bag. Okay, it literally goes to my ankle. The pockets, even the pockets are sharp aligned. And they had blue, gray. I don't remember what other color. I know they had blue and gray. They had a light gray, I think a dark gray. I wanted to get a darker color just so it didn't get dirty as easily. But how nice. I mean, this is like a, this is a blanket that you can wear. That's literally what this is. Because, even, and with a hood. Because when you have it on, it, it feels like a blanket. Okay, I need one of these. I need one of these for Christmas, for sure. I'm putting this on my Christmas list. Santa, if you're listening, can I please have a blanket shirt, blanket dress just like this one, please? Oh, I love that. Oh, here's the bag. $24.57. Okay. So there is that. There is that haul. And Sally, if you're watching, I hope that you are so that I can send you this purse. Um, please get back to me, like I said, within two days. So maybe like uh, by three o'clock on Sunday, you get back to me. And my hands are freezing. I'm going to go finish getting ready for work. I hope everybody has a good Thursday and a good weekend. If I don't talk to you, I do have a couple more videos to post. If you'd watch them, that would be amazing. Uh, I did one because I got a couple uh, requests for it. Just to take my old tapons, tapons out to show you how, to, I, how I did it. And then another video um, on how I installed these. Which are, I mean the hair is amazing. And my other hair was still holding up to be honest. There was one tape in that was kind of coming apart a little bit, but all I did was take uh, my little straightener and just, you know, and it just kind of resealed it back up. But it was crazy because it is human hair. My other tape ins were getting kind of like split ends at the bottom, which was nuts. So I'm going to wash them, trim them, and then eventually retape them, put them back in. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have an amazing day, night, uh, depending on when you see this, but I appreciate all of you so much and I hope you like the video. I hope you subscribe if you enjoy uh, this channel because it is free, it, it, but it does help me. Um, that way I can, you know, keep making videos for you because I love it and I love talking to all of you. I posted a um, a little message on my community page the other day because I got an email from a dear friend that I met on here. She was actually the winner of the first giveaway. Um, but, you know, she just needed someone to talk to. And, you know, I'm here for that. That's what I'm here for. You guys are here for me. I'm here for you. We're friends. We're family. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Stay sweet.